How's it punters? Welcome back to BSB. I ran a poll recently to find out which Spinner Zonka game I should check out next. Wicked Witch was the most popular, followed by Bird of Thunder. So I'm going to be checking out Wicked Witch today. It is a game that I'm somewhat familiar with. I've played it on a couple of streams. I've checked it out before, but I definitely think it's worth another look. Before we get started with some gameplay, I'm going to have a look and see what's going on with the game. So the witch looks to be a wild. Uh, the cauldron kind of scatter. Okay, here's your, your payouts. The cat's what we're after. And it's got the dreaded ace, king, queen, jack, ten symbols. Goes all the way down to nine. So these ones we don't really want to see too many of. And these are the higher paying symbols. So the pretty symbols pay nicely. And the ugly ones don't pay. Although these two, the broom and the book, also don't pay particularly well compared to the, the other two. Right, all symbols pay left to right as as usual, six free games are awarded when three or more cauldron symbols appear anyway. So that's the feature that we are after. Three or more of those. Okay, and then the symbol does not appear during the free games feature. Either, wow, what are these? Either frogs or, I don't know, magic potions? Is that like a jellyfish? I don't know what those things are. Appear once during free games 1 to 18. The symbol is collected and a new symbol will appear in the same position. Okay, so those are what kind of wilds or randoms? Each collection, oh, okay, so you get you, you get more of these and you'll earn extra free games. The number of free games is capped at 24. A maximum win is 2 million bucks. Here's the pay table, pretty much your standard spinners on your pay table. You guys should be fairly familiar with this by now, uh, but you can pause the video and have a look at that if you like. Cool, so I think the music's kind of spooky. I like the kind of idea of the Wicked Witch game. Uh, let's get some spins in. I'm gonna put, I've got 400 bucks in here. I'm gonna put the autoplay on for, probably gonna do like 100 spins. I, I think that's gonna give us a chance of getting a feature and we should see some interesting things happen. So I'm gonna put the first 50 on and see how we do. A couple of low wind symbols there. Couple of tens there as well. Okay, the low ones aren't paying too badly. I haven't played this game in ages, so I'm actually quite looking forward to it. So I, I, ooh, okay, there's, there, there comes the Wicked Witch. What are you gonna do? Pop a couple wilds for us. All right, nice. Um, I would like to get a feature in this game. I, I think this is one of the games that I've never hit a feature in. Actually, there's quite a few games that I, I haven't got a feature in. Um, you need to spend a lot of time with the game in order to get those features triggered. So we're getting quite a few low wind symbols, but, and they are paying pretty decently. Uh, there's a cauldron, we need three of those. There's a witch coming in, will we get something here? The queen will pay, yeah. Mm, okay, I mean it's... <laughs> uh, the background music's pretty cool, I just find the volume's a bit low. Uh, and the slot sounds themselves uh, aren't great. Uh, that that din -in 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 that you're hearing. Come on, baby, give us that cauldron. Three games. Come on, feature. Ah, uh, you wicked witch. But yeah, no, I'm not a big fan of the very boring and repetitive sound. I do like the creepy background music, as I mentioned. But not too much going on in the uh, game so far. Oh, it's been quite a few spins without picking up anything. There's a witch. I don't think she's... you can give some jacks there. Yes. Okay. I think we were picking up those anyway, to be honest. I would re really like to see a feature though. There's aces will pay. Aces and the king, 16, right? Not too bad. curious as to why Panthers like this game. I mean, it, visually it's not all that appealing. Um, I guess the feature could potentially pay quite nicely if we, well, I guess we'll find out if we manage to hit it. But then again, uh, <laughs> I've had quite a few features on other games that really have not paid. Um, so my, my faith in high paying features is not very high, but I do like to see the features. We've gone through 36 spins so far. 
Ooh, there's a couple of nice wilds there. It should help us. Yes, 22 Rand. Nice. Okay, so the, the RTP seems all right so far. I didn't actually look for it in that previous screen, but it will be there. Maybe I'll have a quick look. Probably around 95, 96% RTP. And we'll see what we are on after our... Anything here? After our first 50 spins, then uh, we'll see if we can up the stake a little bit. Chase that feature, chase maybe a little bigger win. Because after this one, I'm going to be taking a look at uh, Birds of Thunder in the next video, I reckon. Or Bird of Thunder, Birds of Thunder, not quite sure which, which it is. I actually need to check again. Okay, so it, there we go. I was, I was about to say, tease us with the feature once. Come on, baby. Give us that cauldron. Ah, you wicked witch. I do like, I like it when the game teases you like that. Okay, so not much on the first 50 spins. We were spinning, we went through 200 Rand worth of spins and we lost 78 Rand, which is not bad to be honest. Uh, where is the RTP on here? I, I think I would have seen it actually. So it's not included here. Uh, I should go and check on the Habanero site. Or maybe it's uh, somewhere else. But anyway, let's pop the stake size up just a little bit. Uh, what do we want to go with? Six Rand. And we can get through another 50 spins at six Rand. Maybe 60 spins. Let's do that. Let's do that 50, those 50 spins at 6 rand. Let's see if it makes any difference. I'm happy to burn through the balance having a, a look at this, maybe chasing that feature. You you do want to have a higher than usual bet when a feature lands. Obviously you have no control over when that feature is going to come through, so it's, it's all down to luck. But that's how you're going to pick up those bigger wins with bigger bets. It's also how you're going to chow your balance. <laughs> this is what's, what's going on now. Come on, we've got two columns here for a chance of the future. Come on, baby, give us a cauldron. Uh, you've teased us twice already now. Don't make it three times. Oh, wow. She's, she's a horrible tease, this witch. Horrible tease. I do like games with features, though. It is, it's something to get excited about. And I must say, we haven't picked up many wins on anything outside of those uh, low paying symbols, which is a little bit disappointing. I'd like to have seen a cat or a book, a couple of brooms maybe. There we go, we'll get a book over there, I believe. Yes, okay, 15 Rand. Okay, we've got about 30 spins left. It's not looking great for that, that dream of a feature. We'll get some jacks over there, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the, the real sound that I was mentioning earlier is now really beginning <laughs> to grate me. Uh, it sounds like they've imported it from another game rather than uh, made it unique to this game. A couple of nines there. We've got to give us something, which... I mean, the session started off pretty good. But uh, that's that feature. And these higher paying symbols, they just aren't coming through. As I said, lots of low wind symbols, which you kind of expect. But those just aren't enough. Uh, we'll get something there with those witches. A couple of jacks. Oh, six rand. Basically, I'll spin back. Oh, that could play quite nicely. A couple of aces, we pick up a big win. I'd like to see where that pay line went. One straight across and one through and down there. 96 Rand, not too bad. It, we did need that. Our balance was getting super chowed. But still no feature. But that was our biggest win and it was on low win symbols. It was the bet sell though. Those kings will pay, I think. Yeah. If only that king could have uh, been one, one higher, would have paid much better. 
So 12, 12 to go, we'll pick up some wins in that nine. Still only two cauldrons. Not, hasn't teased us with, with a feature or the chance of a feature. But otherwise, I mean, we managed to get through, what, 100 spins. I upped the stake as well. We aren't down too badly. We've lost about half of our balance, which is okay, I feel. Look, obviously you want to win, but chasing features, I feel that's okay. I really would, as I've said a good couple of times video, I would like to see more of those high win symbols paying. Just for some variation of all things, because I'm not seeing too many of anything other than these low win symbols. You guys know what I think about those low win symbols. So give us a couple of spins. Let's drop that bet level down and give us a couple of manual spins. Watch the feature pop up while we're doing some manual ones. I'll take this balance down to 200 bucks. There we go. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the uh, Wicked Witch video. Unfortunately, we didn't get any features in this one. The game's okay. It's uh, it's not one of my favorites. I'd love to know from you guys why you enjoy the game so much. We didn't... Uh, look, obviously, you going to have a much better experience hitting features and free games and all of that. We didn't get that this session. Maybe next time. Uh, what, uh, what I do like about the game is that it does the features. Unfortunately, I just didn't hit that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.